guys welcome back to raw music tv we're going to today take a look at the latest information on a new guns and roses album we're going to see what band members have said in recent months and try and figure out some sort of timeline as to when we can expect the new gnr record now although duff and slash have now said in several interviews that a new record is coming it's obviously complicated and there's a lot more to it so in reality it's been 28 years since the last guns and roses record which was the double lp use your illusion one and two which came out back in 1991 although gnr did obviously release chinese democracy back in 2000 2008. This was not regarded by many as an actual Guns N' Roses album as it really only had Axl Rose in it and Dizzy so you didn't have any of the other members like Slash, Duff, Matt Sorum so a lot of people don't really consider this to be a GNR album. I personally don't myself and wasn't a massive fan of it. And you also had the Spaghetti Incident back in 1993 which did have all of the members from Illusion on that record but again it was a covers album, it was a great record and you should check it out if you haven't heard it but it wasn't original GNR material. And then after this, the band disbanded for various different reasons. So back in February of this year, bassist Duff McKagan was speaking to Ultimate Classic Rock magazine, and he actually said that Axel had a ton of new material, and he also confirmed that a new album was real and that it was going to happen. This echoed what Slash had said the week prior to this, who also said that there was new material on the way and that a new record was in the works from GNR. Duff specifically said that he's heard the music that Axel has been working on and he has some really cool stuff and that he's excited to get to work on it. And then Slash also said that Axel, Duff himself and guitarist Richard had also talked about a new GNR record, but again, nothing confirmed in terms of when anything was gonna be recorded or released but he did say that there was new material in the work. Now, a couple of weeks ago, there were actually some reports of Slash and Axl Rose entering the studio on April the 26th of this year. The report was basically that Slash was gonna be going to Axl Rose's studio in Malibu to work on new material. Now, this came from a social media post that was put into the GNR forum, where fans gather to discuss different topics about the band. What happened was a company called Cruise Control Amplification had reportedly received Slash's amp for maintenance and repair which was actually dropped off by Karim Costanza, who was the producer for Guns N' Roses' Chinese Democracy album back in 2008. And apparently in the post, it did state that the amp was being dropped off for repair solely so that it could be used that weekend, April the 26th, to record new Guns N' Roses material at Axl Rose's studio in Malibu. Now, there's a few issues with this. Personally, I don't think the post was real as it disappeared from social media. We couldn't actually find the original post. We could only find a screenshot that had been posted in the GNR forum. Also, Slash had stated that no work was gonna be carried out on the new Guns N' Roses record until at least October of this year after he'd finished his European tour with Slash, Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. You also have to take into account the fact that Guns N' Roses still have some dates lined up for this year and they seem to be getting confirmed for more dates. So I would imagine there's gonna be another GNR tour also in the works, which would obviously mean less time to record an album. Slash has also said that he's begun work on new material for a follow-up record for Slash and the Conspirators after their last record was released last year called Living the Dream. So in terms of a timeline of when we might get a new GNR record, both Slash and Duff have already said, although there is a new record in the works, they have absolutely no idea when it's gonna be coming out or when they're even going to really start recording on it. Slash himself has said that you need to understand this is Guns N' Roses, a band once dubbed the most dangerous band in the world. 
they don't exactly sit down over brunch and discuss strategic plans to record a new record. So another issue is the reason that they disbanded in the first place. There was a lot of conflict in the Guns N' Roses camp and this ultimately led to the band disbanding after the Spaghetti Incident record was recorded and released back in 1993. Although Guns N' Roses have reunited and have been touring for the past couple of years, all seemingly very well, who knows what's actually going to happen when they get back into a studio environment. This could lead to a lot of old issues being brought up again and it could even be the downfall of Guns N' Roses for a second time. It's fine seeing the band playing live and being great, but they obviously don't have to spend too much time together on tour. They'll all have their own separate tour buses so they can all each relax and do their own thing. However, in a studio environment, this could completely turn around and they could find the old conflicts they had in the past become problems very quickly again. So even if they do start work on a new record in October, and even if everything's fine and they all get along great, we probably still can't expect anything new, maybe not even next year, it could even be the year after that in 2021. So there's a lot of different aspects to consider. They all need to be in the studio and work together you also have Slash's other band, The Conspirators, which I've mentioned, who have their own albums going on and touring schedule. And Duff even has his own album coming out as well. And he will most likely also tour. So you have all of these different factors to be considered. We'll obviously keep an eye on what's happening with Guns N' Roses and the new record. If there are any updates since the publication of this video, we will leave a link in the description and the comments. So any up-to-date information will be there. We'll also publish new videos as well. So if you want to stay up to date with what's going on, please consider subscribing or head over to rawmusictv.com. If you dug this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. It helps our channel. And there'll be some other links in the description below to some other news and some other cool stuff also. That's all for now. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.